Live, this is one for the record. I'm Diane, and today is no. Oh, I'm sorry. It's December 1st, 2013. Well, the rent is due. Heads up. All right, here's your news updates for today. We have a lot of footage on ISON. I'm going to. And Nibiru. Here you go. <coughs> Excuse me. Yep, we possibly have footage of Nibiru showing up. So, I'm going to play it first, so you probably just saw it. Wow, heads up. Also a thought. Here's a Diana theory. You know how you try, you have no one to talk to, you see all this truth going on on the internet, you see it yourself. You see the chemtrails, and you try to tell people. And I had like some kind of, like a revelation type of thing. I was thinking... What if we are like in something like the Matrix? And a lot of the thing that some of the people around us that we know, they might just be like computer program simulations or something. Because no matter what you do and try to warn them about fluoride in the water, I mean, even simple things, aspartame, or. Um, Look, there's chemtrails in the sky, and they just go about their business. They don't want to hear it like a computer simulation. I want you to think about that. Maybe not right now. I'll give you the news, but I want you to ponder that. That maybe there's only a few of us. A handful of us that are actually awake. Something like in that movie, The Matrix. Just a few, a few of us are awake, and the rest are just part of the program. Like a computer simulation. That keeps on doing whatever they're programmed to do. They won't go outside that. You get what I'm saying? Maybe it's some biological matrix. But, and only a few of us, maybe a handful of us, compared to the majority of us, are awake. What's really going on? All right, I want you to ponder this. They're programmed not to react to you. They're programmed to just do what their program says, just like if they were a machine. Maybe they're just a biological machine. But still, it's like some type of machine in a matrix. All right? It's just it's just a thought. It's just, if you can catch my deep meaning about this, so don't feel bad when you try to warn people. And they say, oh, no, that can't be possible. And they don't really react with any emotion. Do you see what I'm saying? They're not really reacting with any emotion. It's like they're all data or something. Even data had more emotion than most of these people. <laughs> Alrighty then. They have to follow their, whatever they're programmed to do. They can't change their programming at all. So don't feel bad. Maybe don't warn them anymore. Do what you can do. Put the word out. If they're just going to go about their business just like if it was like some kind of worker bee or whatever it is, some computer simulation, maybe we're all on a holodeck. You get what I'm saying? It's like being in, in, in Star Trek. Yeah, next generation holodeck. I want you to really think about it. Maybe we should stop wasting our time trying to uh, convince people. You see what I mean? You're wasting valuable time. Or whatever. I don't know. It's, uh, there's something going on here. So, there you go. They don't have to be sheeple. They're just some kind of s computer simulation. This is like a holodeck. And they're just programmed to do certain things. Alrighty then, moving on. There's some philosophy for you. Diana the Philosopher. All right, let's go to the Extinction Protocol 2012 and beyond. Heavy rains, no, heavy torrential rain spurs landslide killing nine in Indonesia.
Strong danger of surf, quake strikes volcanic region of Congo. Strong 6.4 magnitude earthquake hits eastern Indonesia. Alrighty then. Heads up with the earthquakes. Let's go to the watchers watching the world. Nothing new there. I think there'd be a lot of news there. All right. Let's go to any news. No, let's go to breaking news. Let's see if something's breaking. No. Well, okay, I know today there was a train der derailment with four killed in New York. And 60, like, injured. Also, winds are gusting 50 to 60 miles an hour along I-80 between Cheyenne and Rollins in Wyoming. Heads up. All right. Coming out of breaking weather. Okay, that's all that's going on there. Uh, E&E News, Energy News, Japan, Fukushima. Study finds giant strontium-90 release in bo into body of water begins around 1,000 days after meltdown. December 5, 2013. Equals 1,000 days after 3.11. Graphics shows very high levels being discharged up to 50,000 days. So now that it goes on for thousands of years. Who are they fooling? All right. Let's see what else there is. U.S. Canada. Expert. People on West Coast right to be concerned about Fukushima plume. Things could get much worse. Lots of radioactivity flowing into ocean government not testing water or fish. You know why? They're afraid they're going to be contaminated. They already know it's there. How's that one? That's my opinion. I'm allowed to have an opinion. This is my editorial opinion. They know it's there. They don't want to contaminate themselves. Alrighty then. And also, let's see what else is today. Oh, here's another one from today. NBC Nightly News. Another highly troubling report about what's going on in the Pacific. Millions of starfish melt away from Alaska to California. Expert. Fukushima radiation not ruled out as factor in epidemic. Very, very different than anything seen before. You see? First, you don't ever tell someone in California that they don't have a right to be concerned because now you'll never hear the end of that one. And number two, they're not ruling out radiation now. Oh, someone's getting ready to be sued, I guess. They got the big liability. Realize the property value on the West Coast is going to go way down. <laughs> also, and I talked about it for years, they knew something was going to happen. That's why the prices was, that's why it was way up. Also, the whales. Be careful with that. With the whales acting weird in the animals, you might be getting ready to have a giant earthquake. All right, heads up. I'm from there, and I can say that. I've lived through a bunch of them. So, heads up on, you know, on the earthquake thing. Be all ready. Be prepared for anything. If animals are acting weird, you know that one. All righty, then. What else? Oh, and if you're in the water, don't touch the water. You know what I mean? I'm talking about if you live on your boats. If you're on your boats, okay, all your mariners out there. Be careful of what... Don't don't put your hands in the water until you know if it's safe. Check your paint. If your paint's starting to all of a sudden dull, it's new paint. Remember that guy that crossed from Japan and made a trip all the way over and went like 3,000 miles and didn't see any life in the ocean, but his paint was starting to to fade and do something weird with his new paint job on his boat. Start checking your paint. Then you might have to move, move off your boat quickly. 
get out of there. I don't know. If, I think it's too late to try to cross anywhere. Try to try to get to the Atlantic side, but I, I think, or maybe you can trailer your, your boats out, but better take take a Geiger counter first before you get near it. But check your paint. Check to see. Check everything. See if anything looks strange. And get one of them little Geiger counters. Or I didn't even think the little Geiger counters picks up everything. So just check your boats, you mariners out there. Ahoy! Good thing I jumped off my boat. You know, like a couple years in advance. Wow! And I heard the call. Get you mariners out there. I think it's time to shove off and get out of there. Alrighty, then take care. Always be safe. Stay tuned. Got Nibiru. I think I'm going to put it first, though. I can't wait on that. It's it's excellent. And then copy it. Everyone copy it. Get copies of what's on here, because I'm sure they're going to try to get rid of it. Alrighty, then. Take care. Be safe. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Oh, it's Monday. Holiday weekend over right now. Alrighty, then. Take care.